Assalamu alaikum, how are you everyone? Hope so everyone is fine. Welcome to our channel Oracle Apex BD with another new video of POS series. In this video, we will create foreign key in the item master table. Firstly, I apologize because I have not showed you this thing at the first. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but no worries. Now we just have to create some foreign key with some tables. So let's move to the lecture. So firstly, we have to know about foreign key. If you search it on Google, what is foreign key? Foreign keys link data in one table to the data in another table. A foreign key column in a table points to a column with unique values in another table. Often the primary key column to create a way of cross referencing the two tables so the main thing is foreign key helps to connect two tables data when we have to collect a data from another table then we use foreign key for then we use foreign key for to connect a data in the another table so now we have to create foreign key in the object browser go to the object browser now go to tables and then item master go to the constraints so here you can see foreign key constraint i have already created in the brand name category name and uom which is brand category and uom so firstly go to item mst item mst means item master this is the constraint name item mst con con means the constraint and the table name brand type is foreign key the column is brand name and you can see status is enabled now how you can create a foreign key constraint so go to the create option now table is item mst name item mst con con means constraint now you can set this on brand then the constraint type is foreign key select the option cascade delete foreign key column we are creating foreign key for brand so select here brand name and then click this arrow move now reference table name is brand so reference table name is brand reference table column you have to select id because id is the primary key now move this and apply you will see a foreign key here the brand name now and then you will see your brand name constraint create then you have to create for category and then you have to create for uom the sa same is the process just go to create name the constraint category then constraint type is foreign key cascade delete select then category name here you have to reference table is category then select id and then apply then the next is uom for uom then create constraint uom constraint type foreign key select cascade delete foreign key column is uom Reference table 
U O M and then double column ID move here and then apply. So you can create foreign key by following these steps. Now so a table of customer orders might have a user column with a foreign key attribute that links it to the user id column in a user table this way each row in the orders table can be associated with a specific user from the user table and no orders can enter the system unless they are connected to valid or existing user in the short way if we describe about foreign key is put the relational in relational database they help define the relationship between two tables they allow developers to maintain referential integrity across their database and foreign keys also help to end users by preventing errors and improving the performance of any operation that's pulling data from tables and linked by indexed foreign keys so hope so everyone have understand the foreign keys if you guys have any problem then put your question in the comment box and hope so this video will help you for creating foreign keys and so yes that's it for today in the next video inshallah we can discuss about a new topic of pure series till then keep watching us subscribe our channel oracle apex bd follow our facebook page and Allah Hafiz for today. Assalamualaikum.